Hey guys, this is Cam315, back at it with another video for you guys, and I'm back with another Lycoris Recoil. And another really good episode here, more development for our girl Takina, um, and man, was that end of the episode so great when she got freaking the one chick back and punched the shit out of her pretty much and then shot her up. Um, good, you know man this was a really good episode here um and i'm really liking where this is going i'm sorry but m i need more people to get on this i need more people to talk about this i know pretty much the two top heavy animes of this uh if not the top anime of this uh season that people obviously highlighting the most is more than likely a uh, classroom of the elite but my goodness like chorus recoil it needs to be talked about people need to talk about this show man this is definitely a very underrated show um that a lot of people need to get on and if you haven't started man you need to watch the first two episodes because holy crap this series is really damn good for its character development um and stuff like that so kind of the premise of this week's episode is pretty much our girl chizato has to go renew her license in a way so she can continue to do the operation she does um but we kind of see it how you know they're having at the cafe they're having a game night and everything but our girl takina doesn't want to uh participate in that all she cares about is going back to the da's office to just get the you know things out the way and it's like when the one when the one boss dude at the cafe is like, so, uh, you know, you got to go to the DA's office to go get your renewed license. And he was like, oh, can I go with you? Because she's trying to get her best to get back into the DA's um, commander list. So they get there and man, was their Takina slander out of the ass? You have people, all these other girls, like freaking talking shit on um, Takina and everything and you know, we have it where the commander approaches them and obviously Takina's like, hey, can I rejoin and everything? I've done some things, some solid things. Like I send the image and the DA honestly was a whole asshole to be honest. Um, was like, oh please, that's not enough. You're never coming back here. Let's get nothing wrong. And even you have it to where um, the one girl, her one former commander, uh, our person in charge that she was taking orders from is kind of freaking ripping on her. Like we have it to where she's a toe and her are talking and apparently they're actually accustomed to each other. They used to work together and stuff like that. And pretty much she's just asking like the commander and everything. She's like, whoa, whoa, hold on a second. Apparently you said the radio went silent. That's on your asses, you know? That That's on you, that's on, you're the commander, you're the leader. Why are your comms going out? There's no way your comms should be going out and stuff like that. And if the comms go out, that's on you. It has nothing to do with Takina because she was just trying to improvise in the moment. And hey, sometimes when you're in these stressful situations and maybe comms go out, sometimes maybe the best thing to do is take things into your own hand. Again, yes, maybe Takina didn't do the right thing in following orders. She probably, yes, she probably definitely should have listened to orders. But guess what? At the end of the day, she managed to save the hostage um, but they're kind of blaming her um, unfairly for, you know, following orders and, you know, she's not a cooperative person and everything. And you have it to where it's like, they're going to make the mention, oh, we don't worry, we got even a better replacement for you and stuff like that. And that said replacement actually talks shit to her and is like, oh, please, you're nothing special. You're just a problem child. You're just trouble, yada, yada, yada. Um, and everything. And, you know, I really did like this episode in this episode, Chizuto came to Takina's aid and she was willing to back back her and stand by her side and be like, no, listen, things happen. I understand you may have not taken orders, but at the end of the day, you did what you felt like was right. And at the end of the day, you saved your the saved the hostage. At the end of the day, yes, you probably didn't get follow, you didn't follow orders, but the fact that you're pretty much being outcasted um for just disobeying an order. Um, and you're given this title of like, oh, she's not obedient. She ain't doing this. She ain't doing that. Very stuff. And you can see it clearly. This clearly affects, um, you know, Takina. And I do like that moment where she's a dope has her back. And she said, listen, I'm always going to have your back no matter what, girlfriend, pretty much. And, you know, she hugs her and everything. And you have these freaking girls in the back like, <laughs> look at her. 
She's rubbing off on her. Now she's going to be a problem child and everything. I'm like, man, if I could slap all these hoes up in here, I'd be doing it right then and there. But um, you get the moment to where you get pretty much a mock battle. Um, and you have it to where at first it's two on one. She's over versus the uh, Takina's former um, um, squad leader. And then the new girl that was replacing Takina. And my God, Shizuto absolutely embarrasses them. Like, especially embarrasses the uh, freaking rookie, the, 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 the new girl. She embarrasses her and everything. And we kind of find out what Shizuto, she actually is like really freaking damn good. The fact that she can actually predict when a, a bullet's line, incoming line, or when a bullet is being shot, where it's going to end up landing. And she be dodging it. So that's why she be dodging it like she's some on some Ultra Instinct stuff there. But, you know, you have it to where, you know, Takina's just sitting near the fountain and she's just re thinking about what Shizuto just recently told her. And that's when she joins in the fight. She comes on in. She gives the girl that punched her in the first episode for the for the for the mistake she made and she gets her back she punches this excuse my language but i felt so much pleasure when she punched this bitch man i i don't care half these damn girls up in here were talking shit on takina we're all a bunch of bitches let's be honest excuse my language but i just got to get that a point they were all bitches up in there um, and when Takina laid out that freaking punch and she was like, boom, and then she was like, Ugh, boom, boom, boom. And the thing is, she shot directly at Shizuto because now she trusted that she knew that because when they get on the train, she said that, you know, I knew you would dodge it. So I had complete trust in you that you would. And that goes to show you the bond that they had. And then just seeing their reaction to them losing, especially the one chick where she all pissed off because Takina's like, because at first they do have a little interaction. She's like, you know, you didn't have to hit me that hard. You know, that was foolish of you to make that mistake. You could have just shot me from the back. And Takina's like, I just did it to get even with you. So we're even now. And obviously this pissed this girl off and she's like, get them back, damn it. Um, So I don't know if they're foreshadowing. Maybe this girl will maybe go down an evil route to get back at Takina, maybe even try to go on a route of killing her. Um, that would be very damn interesting. Um, but I'll tell you one thing. I hate this girl already. They did a good damn job of making me hate the freaking commander, the DA, and this chick, bro. And even the freaking replacement for Takina. They all hateable characters. So it goes to show you that they're a bunch of sleazeballs in this, like, like chorus organization that they got going on. And even Chizato ends up telling, you know, Takina, like, it's not your fault for what happened. It's their fault that, guess what? They ended up getting hacked. So it's nothing to do with you. They got hacked, which means their comms went out. You just did what you thought you it was the right thing to do. I also did like the one little, the one girl who was saved by Sakina in the first episode. She is actually like one of the few chicks in there, if not the only one that actually supported Takina. Um, and actually had her back and pretty much said like, we shouldn't be saying these things about bad about her. Like she legitimately saved my life at the end of the day. Um, and stuff like that even though like the one person like but you could have still died and she's like yeah but i didn't she saved my life so she's not that bad she's just doing she just did what she felt like was right um and stuff like that so i liked how she got you know takina got some damn justice she got her payback and the whole thing is i did like how in the in the, in the conversation between shizuto and takina she's just like listen if you don't like staying with me hey if they, if the DA office opens you back up, opens with open arms, you can go back, you can go back there. But if you want to stay with us, hey, you're more than welcome to. And I did like how Chizuto's like, listen, I'm not forcing you to stay with me. If you want to go back, you can go back if you don't like it with us. And I like how in the end of the episode of the train, it's kind of a symbolic, symbolic thing. At first, she didn't want to take the candy Chizuto was offering. This, at the end of this episode... She takes the candy, she's eating it, and then plus she smiles and is also willing to play the board games with the uh, cafe group and stuff like that, which it was really damn good. So it was a really good episode for like Horus Recoil. I'm definitely loving this anime so far. This is my anime this season. This is really damn good. I really do like it. And even though I haven't seen every anime of the season, so far out of the ones I've watched this see this summer summer of anime 2022, this is my favorite one by far. And I just love the characters. I just I I just love it. And 
I don't know where the story's gonna go. It's gonna be very interesting to see what this uh, businessman guy who's taking an interest in Chizato and this cafe a lot is gonna go um, in this story. Maybe he act, and then, you know, the like chorus, you know, people there, you know, you wonder if this girl is gonna come back and try to get revenge on Takina. So it's gonna be very damn interesting to see what's gonna happen, but I'm definitely liking this show. This show felt definitely pleasure, especially her, Takina getting her payback, man. I knew she was gonna punch that hoe in the face. Um, so yes, um, but anyways guys, if you guys like the video, leave a like, put in the comment section your thoughts on this week's episode of like Chorus Recoil, as well as the subscribe button you wanna get more Summer of Anime 2022 content or any other anime I'm uploading to the channel. Till then guys, stay safe out there and have a great rest of your day. Or now, I'm going to see you. Until then, guys. Peace.